You can't just work forever nonstop until you die. You gotta pepper in, you gotta pepper in some you time. What honestly, like I watched it last Christmas and I always forget how perfect of a movie it is, yeah. is Elf. Yes. Uh, it is so good. I focused a lot on me and my me time. I did all my healing and care within and now it's time to get out of here. I love you guys. I love, you know, I love Christmas. And you know what else I love? Oh God. I love <laughs> New York. <laughs> Do I look... Thoughty? Yes. Yes. Thoughty too shy. Try to be thoughty so I can put some thoughts in your brain. <laughs> thought provoking. Thoughty uh, I'm thought provoking. That's funny. Do you provoke thoughts very often? I should often? tweet that. Should I provoke thoughts? Do you? Like on Do the I? Yeah. I did provoke a thought on a dance floor. Yeah, you did. At the bar. Yeah. Thoughtobots, roll out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that was a weird night. Put my car in a thoughtomatic. Wow. Oh, nice. No. That's pretty cool. Thoughty Pippin is still my favorite. Thoughty the, Pippin. Thoughty Pippin. Oh, man. I wish I could think of more. You got the Thoughty or Nice list. Oh. oh. Thoughty or Nice. Ho, ho, ho. Guys. Have you been Thoughty this year? Is that what you're going to say? I was trying to think of an ice rhyme. Thoughty. Thoughty or, or ice. Thoughty or. Thoughty or. Let's just get to it. Okay, welcome guys to another episode of the Smosh Cast. Have you been thought of your nice? Well, we'll find out because it's Christmas Day. Yeah. Did you get cold? Because that means you were thoughty. Ooh. Um, I'm hosting today. You got the Courtney cast with my boys. Hello. I'm Hello. Ian Hecox. And I'm Shane. Happy holidays Happy all around. Holidays. Wow. Just a cheery old time. You guys look so cozy. I'm very cozy right now. Look we are at very you. We, we had to be very cozy. We came in here into the, the podcast room on Christmas Day to record this mm-hmm. live. It's snow going outside um, in LA. Yeah. Yes. Um, you guys look very good in the in the winter smosh merch. Oh, thank you. Jingle uh, jingle, bitch. Um, the red beanie sold out, but I think we might restock it in navy blue. I think by this as well as red. Ooh. By this point it'll probably be, be restocked. Back? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So I mean, but check smosh so, store. If yeah. the beanie's there, Go get yourself right now. one. Yeah. And or at you, the end of this podcast. At the end of this podcast, or if you're just listening while you're online shopping, like what I do, mm-hmm. then you could do this at the same time. And if you don't want to buy clothes, that's okay. We also have tickets um, to certain shows. Was it um, Sacramento, Oregon, um, just and the Phoenix? State, the state of Oregon. Yeah, state the of state Oregon. of Oregon. Uh, yeah, Sacramento, Sacramento, Portland, Portland, Phoenix. Portland and Phoenix. Those shows, we still have some tickets left if you guys want to come join the party. Phoenix, well, show up. Uh, my yeah. hometown. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah, my hometown, Sacramento. Guys, come on. Let's all talk about Sacramento things. We, well. Trains. Let's talk about trains. Phoenix things. Rocks. <laughs> Dying with of scor- dehydration. With, with scorpions underneath those rocks. <laughs> what are Portland things? Portland has a lot of things. Beer? Yeah, Portland's got beer, beer coffee. It's got like... Homeless uh, people that look like hipsters. Good, hipsters that look like homeless people. Good coffee, music, elephant seals. Will we be selling co- like our co- coffee with us on tour? I don't know. Probably not. Really? Uh, I don't I know. I someone to get a bag <laughs> after the show. That'd be cool. Well, if we're not, you can get it on myfavorite.com. Yeah. My and, and it's great for the holidays. You know, yeah. it's cold. You want to sit inside, sip on a nice cup of coffee. Yeah, if you guys are sitting by the fire right now, listening to this marsh cast and it's snowing outside, drinking my favorite coffee. Are you neglecting your family right now and you're just listening to a podcast in your room? That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do for holidays growing up? Or like, what do, what do you guys typically do for, for Christmas or whatever you celebrate? I'll be doing what I do almost every year. I'll be in Colorado with almost all my family. Uh, it's very, oh my gosh, very gonna fun. So nice. It's going to be snowy. It's and always trees. great. Yeah, there's there's often snow. Uh, and now that I have you know nieces and a nephew, uh, it's very fun to watch how excited they are. Uh, to get them gifts is really fun. Um, it's great. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, just to hang out and and chill is great. Mm-hmm. Um, there's always some good movies in that time this this year. Amping myself up for the final Star Wars movie. Oh, freaking amped! The final Star Wars movie for about a year <laughs> until yeah. the next one Look, comes out. I so I'm I'm starting this now. I will 
be done by the time Rise of Skywalker comes out, but I'm going to watch every single Star Wars movie and probably some of the shows leading up to it. Oh, wow. You got to find the the um, the, the um, Wookiee Christmas special. Oh, I've what? heard about that. Yeah. There's a Wookiee Christmas special? It's known as like one of the worst pieces of garbage ever made. Amazing. It was like, it was a TV special and it's really, really hard to find because like LucasArts or- um, They buried Lucas it? LucasFilm like tried to bury it. Wow. I love stuff like that, guys. But it's like, it's like a three camera- like sitcom kind of thing. It's friggin' great. But that's it's amazing. just Wookiees talking in Wookiee language. And I don't that's think there's, all? I don't that's think, all you hear? That's all you hear. I don't think there's any subtitles or anything. The video is available to watch on YouTube currently. Oh. Amazing, amazing. Oh, it's an yeah. hour and 40 minutes long. Well, I'm yeah. watching that too. Imagine just hearing someone watching it in the other room and you just hear, ah, ah, <laughs> Uh, and then just hear ah, 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 like and then hear like <laughs> they just like sing oh Christmas songs God. I don't know if they, I don't think they sing Christmas songs I, was, um, I hope they do Wookiees I'm, I'm Wookiees pretty, don't celebrate Christ pretty they do amped for that yeah Carrie Fisher sings a uh, uh, Christmas song Star Wars Christmas <gasps> Carrie song. Fisher oh so wait is, all, is the entire cast in it yeah, yeah. It's, it's not oh a Oh my Are you God. serious? We have to watch this. Oh, Harrison Ford reluctantly there. Well, everyone in it feels like they want to die, but it's not all Wookiees. There's just a Wookiee part. Oh. There's a lot of Wookiee parts, but the whole thing is really, really bad, but oh. also really incredible. That's awesome. Okay. It's basically an anthology series with the Wookiees as the uh, core. Oh, sorry. Nice. That's my bad. Nice. Well... I'm going to watch that, too. I'm going to watch all of them. I thought you were talking about Christmas movies that like you watch every year for the holidays. No, no, I'm going to watch every Star Wars movie leading up for to, this one to Star watch. Wars. Yeah. Do you I, guys have Christmas movies like that, though? Um, well, Home Alone, I watch. Oh, I end up watching it at some point every year. Mm. You know those like claymation ones? Oh, yeah. Those every ones are creepy. Yeah, Little Drummer Boy. Those ones are, cr- some of those are scary. Extremely creepy. What's the one, there's the like story of St. Nicholas when he's like yeah. a, a teenager and he like is fighting demons. Yeah. And what? like, it's it's nuts. He fights a warlock who then becomes nice. Yeah, there's some crazy sh- in those. Yeah. And like, m- like musical stuff. It's really fun. Just watching a claymation like sing. It's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. I do enjoy Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's the only that claymation one that I That one's a really good one. Land of Misfit Eat Toys. Santa! Eat! <laughs> Who wants a skinny Santa? Oh, yeah. He was very skinny in the beginning. Yukon Cor- Cornelius, the the best. Yukon Cornelius? Yeah, he's the best. Yeah. And then Didn't Meister, you know? Burgermeister Meister. Bumbers bounce! I, I'm, if you I think no my if you about. think my insane uh, uh, best be careful character is fun in any sort of capacity, watch Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Every character in it is that character. Like Yukon Cornelius is very much that. Every character in Re- Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer speaks like in some sort of insane well, way. Well, because I think they they must have made that at the height of cocaine. No, that was made in like the, <laughs> the height 40s. Of Are cocaine. you sure? Yes, Rudolph it's, the Red Nosed Reindeer no, was made. Yeah, it's a no. super old. But it's Those like in, it's in color old. and everything. Yeah, so is Wizard of Oz. Well, Wizard of Oz was like one of the first movies in color. I want to say Rudolph okay. the Red Nosed Reindeer. It also has Burl Ives as the snowman, which means it's definitely. At oh the God. latest, it's in the 60s. It's 1964. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. So the beginning Not of... the height of cocaine, 1964. Right. Well, what was the height of cocaine? 80s. 70s. 70s. 1982, November. Oh. <laughs> 80s. At some point in the early 80s was yeah. the height okay, of cocaine. Okay, sorry, sorry. So I guess a height of drugs, but 64 is still, that's that's pushing it. Like, it's still pre-drugs. Yeah, that's pre-, that's pre- I think yeah. it's like alcohol, maybe. Yeah, it's a bunch but of drunk the people. The 20s was the, at the people. peak of alcohol. It's very 60s. The music in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is very 60s. And... Yes. In the St. Nicholas one, there's like a random song. You don't even know what they're singing about sometimes. Oh, yeah, they don't. Makes it's sense. It's awesome. But they are fun. Yeah. I'm trying to think like, yeah, because I don't I don't have any like traditions of like watching movies. I'm trying to think like what's the best Christmas movie. And I, I'm so sick of people be like, hey, Die Hard, it's the best Christmas movie. <laughs> It's it like has to be. It, it has to. Christmas has to be like a huge element of it. And Die Hard is an action movie that takes place during. Just yeah. because it takes place during Christmas time, I think some movies just throw in a Christmas scene just to save themselves. Like, oh yeah, and then just in case, this is a Christmas movie. But I yeah. okay. Here's my controversial opinion, though. I do think 
they're not they're not Christmas movies, but I do think Harry Potter and Star Wars both are movies that are even better to watch around Christmas. The first time. Harry Potter is a Christmas movie. The first Harry Potter is does feel it's very for Christmassy. sure a Christmas movie. I just think those those series because around ho- the holiday season you end up with a little bit more time yeah. to binge a, a movie series like that, yeah, and it's so in, fun. They're in scarves and. Sh- of course, it's a freaking winter movie. There is usually a holiday section of every Harry Potter movie. Yeah. Christmas, well, it's like a whole school year happening. Yeah. Christmas Vacation's really good. Oh, I love Christmas Vacation. It's so wacky. It's so good. It's so funny. Um, Dude, Love Actually. I do enjoy oh. Love Actually. That I just first saw that time for the first I saw time. that. Yeah. That, well, how recently? Yeah. How, how did you feel? It's. It's all great except for Rick Grimes and his stupid like cards holding at the yeah, door. Yeah, part's weird. Ugh, ugh. Yeah. Ugh. You know what? Really, it, but it's there's something in my bucket, <laughs> something or whatever that <laughs> yeah, song yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, it's so good. Um, I feel it in my pocket. fingers. Fingers. In my yeah. pocket. It's so good. It's so good. Um, what honestly, like I watched it last Christmas, and I always forget how perfect of a movie it is. Yeah. Is Elf. It is. Yes. It is so good. It's so wholesome, and it really so, is. It, it has so many funny scenes in it's a, a row. It's a good cast. I feel too. like a lot of a lot of people wrote that off because that was like in the height of people complaining about Will Ferrell just playing man child roles. No, because Elf is before Anchorman. Yeah. And that's yeah. before that's before like I gotta rewatch it. I think it's actually at the hi- it's at the beginning of Will Ferrell's acting career. Like, like, peak, like, acting bi- peak. like it's yeah. the beginning of his peak. It was his spike. Because I want to say Elf was two thousand four and Anchorman was two thousand five. Yeah. Something no, like I think that. Elf was like the first time they're like, Oh, we love him as this and then I'm sure a bunch of roles came after yeah. that where they were like, Okay, enough. But God, um, it's so good and his character Elf is it, incredible. I wish they would make more movies like that. That's one of those movies that I know every oh, single line. Best best Christmas movie, Scrooged. Scrooged, Scrooged is low key. That with Bill Murray. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's very good, and it's got some creepy parts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta, re- I gotta rewatch scene. that. Have you guys seen the 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 Christmas Carol, the Muppets one? I actually haven't seen a you Muppets. You gotta Christmas watch that Carol. one. I haven't seen uh, most of the Muppets movies. That I haven't one's seen any. that one's crazy. I've seen the Muppets movie. And I saw the one that came out like 10 years ago that was low-key really good but kind of forgotten about. But uh, I haven't seen like all the special Muppet movies. Mm. Mm. The Christmas one, like that one I've seen so I've many times. I've heard it's really good. It's like, scary and there's a lot of people in it, like a lot of people, mm-hmm. for, like the majority of it. Everyone's willing to work with the Muppets. Yeah, they're really easy to work I hear with they're, I hear they're very they're easy to work nice with. super yeah. nice Except for Kermit. Yeah. He... When we're talking about like height of cocaine, I mean like Kermit. Kermit, <laughs> Kermit was around. He's got the problems. Height of cocaine. He's got problems. Guys. Yeah, he used to look like a normal frog. Yeah, he was like. And then fat drugs. Old, he was a fat old bullfrog. Yeah, and that coke hit him hard. Yeah. He went doink and became that. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's why he's always like so horny for Miss Piggy. <laughs> Sorry. God damn. <laughs> I feel like Miss Piggy's more horny for him than she yeah, is of that's, her. Oh, sorry, I get a mix. I've never yeah. seen a Muppets movie. God, Damn. shoot, dude, you better, you gotta, you gotta watch a Muppets, Muppets movie. Stuff. It's, it's oh, Muppets are great. Okay, well, okay, sorry. So, so yeah, it's because he's always high, because he's always high on coke. His dick don't work. Fun, yes. co- fun coke fact. Let's title this podcast uh, Kermit's Dick. I like how we're trying to talk cocaine. about movie, <laughs> Christmas movies we like, and you're you keep trying to bring it back to when was the height of cocaine? And <laughs> cocaine facts. Yeah. <laughs> Cocaine fact number two: <laughs> your, your dick don't work. Your dick when, don't work. Have, well, you heard that, have, you, have you heard that Jim Jeffries? Uh, we're getting way too. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Dude. Um, I think I do think this year also I'm gonna watch a bunch of the crappy Netflix Christmas movies. Nice. Because Christmas seen, movies are the only thing that are allowed to be absolutely awful, but you can still enjoy it. Did you see the Princess Switch? I have Vanessa not watched. Hutchins? I have not watched a, a Christmas Prince, the Princess Switch. The Christmas uh, or a, a Christmas there's Gosh, there's several Christmas, Christmas Chronicle, which is that one that finally got me on freaking Netflix or Chill. That was such BS. Um, I'm still salty about that. I remember it. There, and then there's one that's coming out to theaters with uh, with Khaleesi. Uh, it's mm. like a Christmas. Amelia Clark. It's yeah. out already. It's come and gone. It's yep. came oh, out. God. A couple people saw it and it's gone. Was uh, it lit? Was uh, it, it lit? It snow. It's like a Chris. Or, no, it's no. like a Christmas. It's last Christmas. Because oh. they used the George Michael song to get you with it. Let It Snow came out two, oh, two weeks ago. Oh, that's right. Netflix. Yeah, I've been seeing ads oh. on TikTok for so it. So there's Let It Snow. There's uh, Last Christmas. I boy, Oof. boy, I really missed it. 
You know, you can still watch it somewhere. No, <laughs> it's hard. It, it's hard to get me to watch Amelia Clark outside of Khaleesi. But I she's a really care. talented actress. I, she's in the Stephen Hawking movie. She is really no. No, no wait, no, no, no. no. You're what thinking movie of the is, yeah. you're thinking of the other girl who was in the other Star Wars movie. No, 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 no. no. There's, <laughs> you're there's thinking a, of the girl from Rogue One. No, she I'm was thinking in, about sh- Amelia Clark. But there's a movie where she's in love with a man in a wheelchair. Yep. You know, yeah. I've is seen it, it clips real? of the movie. It's no, a, I'm psycho. It's, it's a real, not no, real. It's a real movie. It's it's another one that kind of came and went. <laughs> I, it exists. I don't think. I don't think. No, I it's think. Called, sorry, Steve, I, I'm this dude. It's me before you. No, I that think, is that is funny that really she talented. also had that when also what's her name from Rogue One was in Theory of Everything. Yeah, Felicity Jones. Yes, she's great. She is really. I like good. her. Yeah, yeah. Ian, what do you I do? I cried in Theory of Everything. What do you do for Christmas, oh. my guy? I go. I go see my fam. And then uh, we always, after Christmas, go up to the mountains, and we have like we stay up in the mountains wow. uh, in, like, through um, through New Year's, like yeah. snowy area. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's so cool. My parents engage in the whitest sporting activity ever called um, cross country skiing. It is the most bull activity ever invented. Because How come? It's, um, because well, let me explain. Um, it's you know walking, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like walking, but with skis on your feet. Oh, this is where you're on flat ground. You're on kinda... flat ground. It's like it's like scootering, but it's skiing, right? No, it's not like scootering because scootering's fun. But don't you like see amazing things? What do, when you what do, you, what do your parents ski? enjoy about it about this? Well, because it's like getting out in the outdoors. Like, yeah, you're going through like the forest and it's stuff. It's like a snow you... hike. Yeah, it's like a snow hike. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. like that. I mean, there's there's definitely things that are nice about it, but when you think skiing, you're thinking going downhill Sliding, and having yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. And this is this is like, it can be an actual workout. And it can also just be, I mean, like when you see, when you've seen 50 trees, you've seen them all. Yeah. You know? Do you, do you go, you do do this with them? I do. I, I've been doing, I, I mean, I've been cross country skiing since I've been a little taught. Um, oh, I didn't know that. One year old, they gave you little skis. And they're like, well, there's keep like, up. they're just rulers. Keep up, yeah. or the grizzly bears will get you. There's, there's like old photos of like, cause we do it with like our family friends, and uh, they all had kids like around our age, and there's one kid that was younger, and so when we were doing it, and they started their kids like really young, like one of them would tire out, and then he would sit in the sled, and he'd get pulled along Aww. by them. So there's That's these really adorable, adorable photos. But I mean, it's like it's fun, but it's like cross country skiing. A lot of it's like going up hills is is a pain in the ass because you're on skis. So when you try to go up the hill, physics wants to just pull you back down the hill. Then you get like maybe like 15 minutes of fun when you get like a little downhill and you're like, wee, and I'm done. But it's nice to like get out in the woods, breathe some fresh cold air. Yeah. Um, you know, tr- dust off a log and have a sandwich. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh, yeah. No, I I mean I I, I talk a lot. Of sh- but you know, it's it's nice to get out and see see nature and stuff. I think that's important. Oh hell yeah! I love pine trees and especially like around Christmas time, being mm-hmm. out in the forest is so fun. Yeah, you throw a log on the fire, you mm-hmm. know, wrap yourself up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have Practice. yourself a hot cocoa, it's and also just out. like the air's nice out there. Yeah. Uh, when it's not fire season. Cold, crisp air is the oh, best. And the stars. Oh, my God, the stars. Yeah. Yeah, when you're out there, yeah, I can imagine. So I'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. It's it's really weird because, like, so with, like, Christmas, like, on my mom's side, like, her parents had multiple kids. They had many kids. Mm-hmm. But my mom was the only one from that family that actually ever had kids of her own. Mm. So it's like it's like kind of this weird thing like on on that side of the family like it's always been like kind of a weird Christmas because it's it was really only me and my sister were the kids mm. and there was just a bunch of old people or older people but mm-hmm. you know when you're a child when you're, kid, every, when you're a child everyone's just 25 like, old. is old when you're yeah. a kid that's yeah. why everyone and in, in, you know in the comments calls me dad yeah um, <laughs> there he is Papa mm-hmm. Ian mm-hmm. Santa Ian I feel like my my Christmas experience is probably little bit different from 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 others since usually people tend to pop out a lot of babies i mean for me christmas is growing up my brothers were a lot are a lot older than me Hmm. but we still had a few christmases where they were still young enough they were teenagers and so there was still some stuff that they got but i was like the kid and so i was freaking out on another Mm -hmm. level but it was still fun because it was still like a family christmas thing there's one that really sticks out that just like my parents just did a 
awesome job mm-hmm. with like not just like the presents they got me, but the way they laid it out All was around the so tree. cool. And I very specifically like they perfectly splayed out three Pokemon Safari packs. Damn, like like out in the center of it, and it just looked so cool. And like one Safari pack when I was a kid would have been like, I would have been like, oh my god. Yeah, what's it like to be god, in the- getting three po- packs of Pokemon cards when you're a kid? blew my mind. I wow. was like, I get to finish opening one and then there's another and then another. Oh my God. And I think that was the year <laughs> my brothers that, so I got that s- some awesome gifts like that. And then my brothers got an N64, which meant I got to play an N64. No, that wow. was, that was earlier, but so we got Diddy what, Kong racing that year. It must be pretty nice to be in the 1%. It was pretty dope getting Pokemon cards <laughs> and Diddy Kong racing. I remember an awesome year. It wasn't like for me specifically, but I, well, maybe I got some cool stuff too. Like there was some crazy years where like we'd come out one year, there was a Kawasaki little motorcycle for my little brothers, what? like just in the living room. And then there's like all those big boxes everywhere. Like a little mini bike? Yeah. Oh yeah. It was just like a little motorcycle. They did, my little brothers and my, and some of my sisters, well, they did like bicycle racing, but my little brothers did like dirt bike racing. Um, I know. I wish I could have had that too. Like I, I think I'm going to do that. At some point in my life, but you should ask your dad to get you a little motorcycle. Just a little baby Kawasaki. Yeah, make up for it. Just my own mini bike. Yeah, no, I'm. Gonna, I think I'm gonna get my own motorcycle soon. I'd like you alive. I'd prefer you alive. You mean like for dirt biking? You mean oh, like yeah. a dirt bike to dirt ride bike. off? But it would be a dual sport, so it'd be street legal. Mm. So that it like, hey, if I wanted to like ride somewhere really quick, or like, ooh, I want to take it to Parker, Arizona, ride that long ass. I want to be too hot. Probably can't do that. <laughs> But something cool like that. I think just having one and dirt biking is so fun. You know, I might even like want to try. No, probably not racing, but it's still cool. <laughs> it's still really cool. And it's just like it's like horseback riding, except for you're not hurting an animal, and you feel like because when you're on a horse or on a motorcycle, you feel so like powerful and like just the world's on, under your feet. And you're just going. Yeah. Just don't drive it on the highway. I'm gonna do whatever I want. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> uh, it makes me so nervous. Yeah, I, imagine, I wouldn't. I imagine wouldn't. Uh, Courtney just doing a wheelie like down oh. the highway at hundred miles. I go, no. hoo hoo! Just, it's just no. the most dangerous. You don't thing. do don't do anything on a motorcycle. You wouldn't do like with a bicycle. You know, like I won't. I won't do a bo- like a wheelie on a motorcycle if I don't know how to do it on a bicycle. You that know, that makes sense. Like goddamn, gotta learn. Step baby steps, boys. Baby steps. But yeah, that was really cool. My mom also really goes hard. So like I had Christmases at different houses each year with, with the divorced parents situation, which was actually kind of dope. Yeah. Two Christmases. So I've, so I've heard. Newsflash is actually sick. <laughs> My mom one year, she she like sometimes had like themes where she had like uh, one year in her, just remember in her apartment, the Christmas tree, she stuck a bunch of like toy medieval swords through it. And so it, like, was all decorated like that. And we got, like, a lot of kind of, like, medieval-style, like, gifts. But we used those swords all the time and hurt our hands <laughs> all the time, hitting each other's so wait, hands. I'm convinced that both of your parents were trying to kill you because— They're plastic. Because oh, your dad— Oh, okay. okay. What do okay. you think I— I said toy swords. You said medieval swords. I said toy swords. Okay. Because your dad's buying, like, motorcycles. Your mom's buying swords. Yeah. Here's a Komodo, Damn, a Komodo dragon. Yeah. Go, kids. Live on the edge. Here's a small bomb. <laughs> <laughs> here's Knock a fla- yourself out. Here's a flashbang. Figure it out. Hey, here's a claymore. No. Have fun. Point it in that direction, not at your face. <laughs> Point it away. <laughs> Most of my gifts were like dolls or like uh, toy makeup or like doll houses or my Wait. scene dolls. My scene dolls? My scene dolls. Okay, so there was Barbie. Uh-huh. And then there was Brats. Brats. And it was like, oh, shit. This is for the cool teen, preteen girls. And then Barbie was like, oh, well, we got to compete with that. So they had like, what's your flavor type of dolls that totally tanked. And then they had my scene dolls that were Barbies with like slightly larger eyes, larger lips. Their hair was like chemically different, uh, the way it like laid and was styled and stuff. And they had like movies, and, like cartoons. And they were my favorite. I liked them more than Barbies and like. I th- I actually my mom recently gave me an old backpack from my childhood and it had like a bunch of old like little household pieces from the Mycene dolls like oh, a tiki yeah. bar oh, wow. little tiny drinks yeah this is like so Chelsea, it was definitely Chelsea Barbie's take on and 
This is so obviously them trying to like shut down brats. That's so funny. Yeah. Oh, it was all, com- dude, the toy industry is so like copycats. Like mm-hmm. Hasbro was like taking toys from Mattel and just like remolding them or I, it could be the other company ways around, but yeah. like toys go after that stuff. It's an insane industry. Oops. Yeah. Um, but I was obsessed with my scene dolls and like the, the male dolls were way better looking than just their basic Ken doll, you know, Oh sh- they had one guy named like Sutton and he had like a little soul patch, like a huge and shaved dong. Head. <laughs> they would have, those were the, those, those were big dick energy Barbies for sure. He had a soul patch. One of them did, but it wasn't like textured. Uh, they all just it was just look painted like a on. cast of any season of Real World. Oh my god, I will sh- I will show you pictures of the of the whole cast of my scene dolls, like because there was like all these different guys. There was Noli, Chelsea, Barbie, um, and then there was like another blonde girl who was like the sporty blonde girl, and I was like, I relate to her. And then Sutton, there was a Ken, and the guys were all in a band together. Oh, that's amazing! This is like this is like Justin that's, from Justin to Kelly. That is literally Justin. <laughs> That's Bryant, yeah. Yeah, they made him, like, I, I Bryant? That character. With a T? <laughs> oh, that sucks. I love how they all have this ball chain <laughs> necklace with dog is that tags. No, this is Sutton. Yep. This is all the most Sutton. early 2000s thing I've ever seen. They were dope, though. <laughs> and, like, the pieces, like, I think that was the coolest thing about Barbies was, like, the little pieces you'd get with them, like the tiny cash register, the little computer. What are you laughing at? Who does it look like to you? Just whispered into the mic. All right, we'll bleep it out. Sutton looks like the kind of guy that refuses to go down on a girl. (laughs) 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 You don't need to bleep that. Don't bleep that. We're not bleeping bleeping that that out. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's staying in. That's in. in. That is in. (laughs) Yes, Sutton would be the one to refuse that. And be like, ew, I'm not gay. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Bryant, though, Bryant definitely. Hang on, I want to see. Bryant is all about it. Go to, like, search My Scene Dolls Bryant because it looks like, I think that character. Did he change? Did they, he no, it looks over? like they whitewashed him a lot. Ooh. Like, f- I think I think that they definitely did that with characters. Chelsea, no, because there was, like, Chelsea, the cast was really cool. They were 16 years old, and, like, they had a whole thing where they raised money by walking dogs and selling bracelets, and somehow they were able to pay for a trip to Jamaica. <laughs> 16 every, by themselves. Every single Barbie doll, Disney character, all of them are super, super rich. Yeah. But yeah, have it's you. Like, it's like friends, you know. Dude, those Barbie. They're so cool, man. Yeah, Brian, I want a Barbie doll that drives a Honda Civic that she bought used. Somebody did a drag did a drag oh, of that's Bryant. Dope. That's awesome. Oh, that's really fun. I never thought about that. Yeah, that's cool. Taking Re- yeah, that's the whole awesome. thing where they'll repaint them. That's yeah. cool. Those were my life. I ha- I kept them until I was about 13, 14. And th- but I never really played with them. You just, just like have them. them. That Barbies were super controversial when they oh, came out. Enjoy. Barbies were the first toy that was like anything that wasn't a baby for girls. It was right. like so controversial to have something with boobs and like what kind of looks like a vagina and butt, but like not really. They're just a ghost just of one. Just barely enough to get get past. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when they were making the Ken dolls, I guess there was like multiple drafts of the male crotch and like some were like way too graphic. But yeah, those those like shape a lot of girls like growing up with like yeah. style and like femininity and everything. Yeah, like so Pokemon Safari. Uh, was yeah. that your favorite? Toy? It was just it, it was just that I was like pumped about it that year because when they when they were at all the rage they were the mm-hmm. they were sold them everywhere there was uh, you know the vending machines for them all over the place and I was all about it but it was it was a big deal I remember going to game stores and like yeah and there'd be a line out the out the shop wow. for, for Pokemon cards. What was the big? What was the big like? Because uh, it seems like every every like Christmas there's like the gotta have it toy. What was the What was the one this last year? I know like Sum Sums. I feel like were pretty. No, I don't keep up on for like, real toys. pets. Were so huge. Yeah, for I don't real keep pets. up on. I remember toys. that first like robot dragon t- dinosaur toy that like was like black and white and just like didn't even look like a dinosaur. Just like oh yeah, like the animatronic toys were so cool when I was a kid. They were never that good, though. I remember there was the year where the, there was a couple of years where like animatronic pet dogs mm-hmm. were like the, all the rage. But then I think I did get one 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 year, but they were it didn't do anything. No, in your head you think that they're just like a real dog, but it's a robot. You want them yeah. to be. You know what like I had? That. You know what I had at one point? And I got it for Christmas, and I wish I still had it. 
because I would use it all the time now, ouais. is I got a little RC car that was the Stuart Little <laughs> car, and it had a little Stuart Little oh in the car. God. And I think now, and I'm like, God, if I had that, the amount of content we would film <laughs> using little Stuart Little in his little car that I could drive around. It was a remote control car? It was a remote control car Dude. that was, it, and it had exactly Stuart right. Little That's, in it. I, it was like a red car? Yeah. And the red convertible. I'm, I'm sure I could yeah. look it up now on Amazon. It's probably like a thousand dollars. Yeah. That's iconic. It's, I it's bet gotta you, be, I don't see it anymore. And it it's sold expensive. for like a year. It's expensive. Because like they, you know that they, like that was what the, the time period where like they would put a lot of effort and like detail, like attention to detail on toys. They were like good quality. So I don't know, oh man, that'd be so cool to have. It'd, it'd just be so funny. Like, and I put my Barbie next to it. I can tell it. you, I, there's, a, we'd already have shot a, put a video in there. I would have shot a video already where it's just, it's just me in my car and then he pulls up next to mine and I'm just like, F <laughs> <laughs> that's a great Twitter video. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of tweets making fun of Stuart Little. Stuart Little in his little red car. And I'm like, God, if only I had it. Remember when he fell in love with a bird? In the sequel. Remember how, like, they just didn't... The, the mom, like, gave birth to him, right? No, it's, they adopted him. They adopted him? <laughs> they found him. They were looking I for thought, a kid at the orphanage, and, like... And then they found then a they mouse. And they see him reading a and, book in and the corner. all these other kids at the orphanage are like, oh, great, guess I don't get a family. That yeah. mouse did, though. Yep. That mouse got adopted, well, and I know, didn't. Maybe those kids should have been reading. And he sounded, like, middle-aged. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, a 20 Oh, it's Michael J. Fox, right? Yeah. Oh, God. He's <laughs> yeah. literally an adult. <laughs> hey, how old are you? Eight. <laughs> have you seen that? Have you seen that video of like the bus driver like throwing the kid out, the little yeah. person out of the uh, bus, and it just ends up being a man. It's a man dressed as a child. Yeah, I saw it. It was planned. It had to be planned. <laughs> I think it's a plan. <laughs> you think it was planned? Oh yeah, like the, the camera like some, reveal. I thought it was like some everything. I thought it was like just some pervert. I I that's what that's what like the story makes sense, but like the camera reveal uh, when they're like that's not a kid and he just like is there just presenting. I don't think you can plan. Camera. I don't think you can plan that man. I don't know. Either way, what I'm trying to get at is Stuart Little is a pervert. Stuart Little is a pervert. He's posing as a child. A family goes into a, a, a um, an orphanage looking for a child. They look over. They see this mouse smoking a cigarette, and he's like, "Hey, this is grown man compared to all these kids." That's how I vision, envision it. And did it, how did he get his car? They got him like a remote control car, but he could also somehow drive it. It was like, and then the boat. Remember the boat? Yeah. So cool. Is Paddington a Christmas movie? I don't know, but I hear they're like the best movies ever made. Yeah, I hear they're spectacular. I've never, never seen, seen them, it. but mm -mm. people say that Paddington Two was arguably the best movie <laughs> the year it came out. Look, have you I, seen it, I, Finn? I just hear they're yeah, they're really good. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I just I've heard they're I super good. I can't yeah. get into it. Yeah. Have I, you started it? One? No, one? no. See, I we just got a not gotta interested. Give it a shot. Like the marketing, I'm just like, what is he? Okay. Well, it's a it's a kids movie, but it apparently like really solid plot though. Mm hmm. Mm. How does one get a rain jacket that small? I just want him to be added to the Fast and Furious universe. Put him in Smash. Put oh Paddington yeah, Paddington and Smash. And Smash. <laughs> Arguably, Stuart Little in his little red car could be in Fast and the Furious. Just to be honest, oh, yeah. they could really use him. He could get into places, you know, go undetected. I would love a Frankenstein ass movie with just everything in it. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool. They should just do like the fan the fan fiction movie. Yeah, where well, everything happens. Fan in fiction it. movie. Well, I guess I guess what? Ready Player One was attempting to. Well, be that, that was, but yeah. also there's movies like like uh like you know like scary movie like the comedies where they like yeah. kind of Frankenstein a lot of stuff together, yeah. referencing I mean, stuff. Disney can do it since they own practically everything. Imagine already. like Transformers, Fast and the Furious, Stuart Little. Well, I've been I've been fighting for a Transformers slash Fast and Furious crossover. Makes that makes sense. perfect sense. But I am I am actually surprised that Disney has not started to make a Disney princess universe because they've established that a lot of them are in the same universe. I'm like, why don't a you make a if they came up with a movie that they're like, hey, here's our next movie. It's going to be Elsa teams up with Rapunzel. Yeah, no, I've everybody heard, be like, what? But, hey, I would I heard go there's see a, it. There's a lot of references in the Frozen 2. I heard that there's like a lot of stuff that like kind of ties their universe with the Tangled universe even more. They're I gonna, wonder if they, they're they going to need to probably they, pretty soon because they're running out of their live actions to cover. I, like, I feel yeah, like they don't need they it. They don't need will. to. They don't need to keep doing the live I actions. I just think anymore. it'd be. I just think it'd be cool to, for them to start connecting those those universes. They might. 
That makes a lot of um, sense. They have those, Disney has those phases where they mash up things. Like, you know, like the Disney shows where it's like That's So Raven, Hannah Montana, and all those shows kind of have an episode where everyone's together. Oh, like, Dis- yeah. Well, you're Disney, talking, but, Disney but, Channel did Disney that Channel. Lot. Yeah. Um, but, so they've done it. And they did, you know, Wreck-It Ralph breaks the internet. Well, yeah. I think with Disney Plus, they're more likely, I feel like, now to do mm-hmm. it than ever. Um, I would love that, like they're, a Christmas they're, special. Because their whole thing now is connected yeah. universes, because Marvel's a whole connected universe. Now they're kind of doing it with Star Wars. I think they're going to they're gonna do it with... It makes sense for them to do it with Disney. Uh, and, or a Pixar connected universe. I mean... Or we we can make one. Wow, yeah. a Smosh connected, connected universe? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a and boom, boom. Are you making fun of me? I don't know. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> How uh-huh. dare you say hoo-hoo at me in my hoo-hoo beanie? Oh, smosh that store. Smosh, smosh that, that store. store. Go f*** Shane. F*** you, Shane. Smosh that store. Did you just say smosh go that store? Go f*** Shane. Hey, Smosh. Go f*** Shane. Available now at smosh that Shane. You can f*** them. <laughs> the bundle package you get a beanie a hoodie and you get to f- a shame. free oh, shame f- <laughs> yeah this is f- I'm sorry it was an accident how much would that cost Shane how much would it cost Shane how much would your body cost <laughs> you wouldn't yeah. ask me that no, <laughs> no, yeah, no. I would not. but I will 30,000 oh. <laughs> guys Shane how much do you think you'd be worth just hold just on, my on. nude body just standing awkwardly in the smosh door. Just you just go through, it's like there's the beanie, there's the hoodie, there's Shane's entire <laughs> Shane. just me just standing awkwardly naked. Oh my Shane, god. Shane, do you think you'd be worth more now or as a virgin? <laughs> what? What is that? What the f- Again, wouldn't ask me that question. Yeah, let's ask Shane the piece of uh, meat look, what we his can, body we can have me on there, but you have to be right. Also, like scroll down, and there's Ian's naked. Yeah, ass body. it's That's got fine. it's got like a price, but then it's crossed out, and then in red, it's, it's on sale. It's on clearance. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas oh, special. Yeah. Ian's body is on edition. clearance. Yeah, you can you can even like there's a little drop down menu of like how much body hair you want. <laughs> black uh, Black Friday s- sale. Yeah, black hole sale. Oh my god, <laughs> god Ian, uh, it's getting worse. <laughs> Why are we encouraging him? <laughs> it's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. Your gift, our bodies. I feel like I'm high right now, and I'm definitely not. No. That's something oh, a high person a would on, say. High on um, my favorite coffee. High on you have sparkling life. water in there. <laughs> Guys, I feel actually a little bit high on life because it's the end of the year. We got a lot to look forward to in 2020. Mm. Um, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions for, for the next year? Should we say that for the New Year's podcast? This, this is yeah. the New Year's podcast, yeah, the last Ian. last time you're going to see anybody. Ian, oh, we, no. everything's over after this oh, one. Yeah, yeah, the end of the world is... We, and, and Wait, what's the song? Never mind. R.E.M. Yeah, that's a good question. Any uh, New Year's resolutions? What you guys get? You guys I asked you first. Re- re- I asked you first. Do you have any revolutions? <laughs> Do you have any revolutions, Ian? I want to make more friends. Oh. Wow. <laughs> me, yeah. me too. Hey, me too. Uh, no, not you, Shane. No, Shane. No, Shane. It's just us. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I think uh I think that'd be a positive development for my for my mental well being. Yeah, stop stop making work your only friend. Damn, Courtney. Wow. I didn't mean that to be mean. Fire. I didn't say I didn't have any I meant that in a caring f- way. I didn't say I didn't have any friends. No, but it's like your priority Jesus. friend, you know? It's the yeah. friend that you uh, make sure all your time or yeah. any time is dedicated to yeah. it. We don't want to be Scrooges. Yeah. Just focused on work. I want to travel more. Um I got Same. a trip I got a trip to Iceland planned out. Ooh. I'm also got a trip doing like a like a Subaru winter driving event. Some be getting in some cars and doing some stupid things on the ice. What if we kissed at the Subaru driving winter event? <laughs> sorry, that's a meme. Anyway, sorry. It's a good meme. I want to have more things, more things in my life to like look forward to. Mm. Mm. I feel like, that. Other than other than just like Smosh stuff, which is great. I think there's a lot of things of Smosh that I look forward to, but but things that aren't directly related to like work. I definitely yep. feel that I need to build a life outside of my work as well. Yeah. Because I do not have one. It's tough. 
it's tough because we want to dedicate as much as we can to what we do, you know? It, a lot of people depend on it sometimes. I think there's, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can dedicate a lot of time to it, but then but then also, like, you you can always make time for something. Mm-hmm. You just you just have to be you just have to be focused on and it. want it. Like, yeah, yeah, and I think you know setting goals is 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 a really big, a really big part of that. And I'm terrible at setting goals. Yeah, I'm terrible at just like getting things done. And I think especially with like oh like setting the setting the the sort of mandate of like oh I need to travel more. If I don't actually like set a date and buy those tickets, it'll you know. Like that, it'll be another year. So that's that was this year for me. Yeah, well, it I mean, just completely went by. But I mean, Shane, you had like Goldbergs. You were also finishing school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like now, you got schools out of the way. That's one thing. Mm-hmm. So Check. it will be easier. Yeah, I actually I couldn't plan anything this year. Like I, looking ahead, I was like, oh, there's no, there's not a week. But also, but also, there is there is a week. Like Smosh will Smosh will continue on if if you know one of us is missing for a week. Like if you think like you know we've all been sick from time to time. We haven't been able to come into work from time to time. Is Smosh still around? Yeah. It's unfortunate that it worked out this way, but on the week that I'm leaving for Iceland, that's a shoot week, so I will not be in uh, Smosh sketches for about a month or so because <laughs> I'm missing I'm missing on the days that we are shooting yes. that whole month of content. So I will not be in sketches yes, for so a month. So viewers, no need to freak out. Yeah, I'm just I'm just living he's my getting, best life. He's getting a vacation he deserves. Staring at the northern lights, um, nice. sitting in some hot mineral baths. Oh, um, nice. Um looking at some Tundras. I don't know what else you do in Iceland. Um, eat some skier. Oh, eat yeah, some that's good really food. Good. I had some um, skier this morning. Dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna go looking Co- for cross some... country skier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go look for some Yule lads. Yeah, find those Yule lads. Ooh, ooh, a skier I just, gobbler. Yeah, skier gobbler. Um, I just, I just took a. a yeah. DNA test turns out I'm 100%, I'm 100% oh skier gobbler. <laughs> um, so we had just actually recently done a spelling bikini wax, a Christmas theme spelling bikini wax. And we kept getting these things that were like, a, like Icelandic folklore. And everything was like, a Yule lad who does this. So I just got one. I just came across this one on Twitter and I had to show you, Shane, because you were, you were in it. Were oh, you in 41 the- Strange. So I saw this one. Yeah. yeah. The Yule cat. It's a monster from Icelandic folklore, a huge and vicious cat said to lurk about the snowy countryside during Christmas time and eat people who have not received any new clothes to wear before Christmas Eve. I think Iceland has a bunch Jeez. of really crazy demons and stuff because there's, they're just not afraid of much in Iceland because there's like no crime. It's terrifying. There's also just not a lot of people. Um, there's like 10 people there and they're all like, ah, better be careful of that Yule cat. Yeah. I want to travel. I really want to travel this year too. Set a date. Yeah, we're also we're also going to be because uh, you know we we're talking about you know hashtag mental health and everything like self care. We're, we're we're looking we're looking ahead through this year and and we're gonna find a couple like dark weeks that we're not going to put content out and we're gonna take that time for ourselves because um, that's important. It is important. So we're gonna so, dole and twin it a couple times a year. Dole and twin it. Yeah, is that what they do. Well, they had that hour-long video come out where they're, they announced that they're no longer going to be uploading every week mm. because it's been, like, destroying their lives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Relatable. Not really, but, you know. So they filmed it, like, as a, a huge deal because mm-hmm. they've been making videos, just them two. I mean, they have their, their help and everything, but it's, like, it's all that. It's all them two. Yeah, so, they're, so they announced that they're going to be, like, not uploading as often. Yeah, for their for their own sanity. I mean, I think that's important. That's why we want to do these dark weeks, just so like everyone can take a break, and and as a result, like I think you know, you guys at home are going to get better content as a result, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because you can't you can't just work forever nonstop until you die. Like that's not that's not the way to live. I'm not saying that like that's not the way. Don't work, but I'm just saying like you know. You gotta pepper in. You gotta pepper in some you time, yeah. some decompression time, some not work time, and uh, and try to live that life that we're all. Because other, otherwise, what are you working for? Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah, I hope to get a Hawaii vacation this coming year. I want to try and get a Europe trip as well. 
So mm. it's going to be interesting figuring out when. Let me know where you go in Hawaii. I got some wrecks. I love I love Honolulu so much. I got, but I, got I, sh- I got a lot of food wrecks. Mari just went there, and I hit her with my list, my list of uh, food places that I got from my rental car guy. And you're on Oahu for those? Uh-huh. I just, I wonder if I should try a new island. You should. You should like, go to Kauai. I hear Maui is amazing. Maui's cool. Maui's got a good mix of, like, nature and, like, yeah. population, but... I want to go for, like, a week. Kauai... Like, or, like a long time. Kauai is my favorite. I've it's heard Kauai is the amazing. chillest one. It is. Well, I think, like, Molokai might be, the ch- like, the least people, but, but Kauai is chill as heck. And the Pali Coast is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen with my eyeballs. Holy crap. Which it's one? uh the Nepali coast oh, on yeah, 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 yeah. uh on in on Kauai. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> When's the best time to go to go to Hawaii? It's on the equator, so it's kind of the same all year, right? I mean people go for Christmas actually. Sh- that's, people go to Hawaii yeah. for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Well that's because also it's a it's it's a less um like not as many people are traveling during during that time, I think. Mm. So I think generally it's a better time to go. Maka Kaliki Maka, am I right? <laughs> yeah, Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua Ah. That's racist. No, it's the state fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I look forward to a healthy year. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. What, how are you gonna make that happen? Well, because I don't want to fully talk about what I went through this sure. year yet. Not until like that stuff's over. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But like. I'm really looking forward to being healthy. <laughs> I don't know. And like, f- I'm going to go hard in fitness again. And I've been trying to do yoga for forever. Mm. I've been trying to get Kevin to train me because this boy's strong. Kevin and Shane arm wrestled once and they were perfectly matched. They, they both hurt their arms. It was crazy. Yeah, you guys went for like three minutes straight. Just, ugh, boy. in. That was insane because I that, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> I just want to throw it out there. I'd be a crater, I, a crater beneath <laughs> us by the end. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's like when what's in the movie when like Iron Man and Hulk punch like that. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like that happened, bro. Or like anything from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it was very Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> You're both glowing. <laughs> I just want to put it out there. I did beat Damien. Really? Whoa. Mm-hmm. Just put it out there. I lost every What's time. up, Damien? Come at me. I also beat our um, assistant, Nancy. <laughs> she's, she like looks like she could beat my ass. She, she's strong. She could, beat, she could beat my ass. Yeah. Easily. Nancy's personality is the toughest out of everybody. She's a strong ass she's woman. Like, she's, she is the most, like, I believe in like a s- certain situations, Nancy would be able to be like the strongest to stand up for everybody. Ooh, and, like, I see that. She's very New York City. Mm. Like mm. you can tell, she spent time in New York City because, mm-hmm. like, she. I think she grew up there. Yeah, yeah. So she and she's got Long that vibe. Island. She's got that vibe. Yeah, she's got vibes. And you go through winters like that, mm-hmm. toughens you as a person. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. That's what's up. New York. New York. New York. New York, New York, New York City. City. Yeah, I you love know. New York. Hot dogs. Hey, hey, New so. York. New York Christmas. Hey, New York. Uh, Shout out to the Christmas New York. Baseball. Yankees. Star Wars. Baseball. Yeah. The Nets. Ah, uh, yeah. Tree. Nuts. Tall the buildings. Good old Yankees. You know, New nuts York. for nuts. The original Babe halal guys. Roof. Isn't that where Elf takes place too? The Elf, Elf takes the place here. That's place New there. York. Santa. Home alone to New York City. Ah, uh, Subway. Donald Trump. King Kong. We took him down. Yeah. We won. You know, New York. York. you don't go up against. <laughs> you don't go up against New York. If you try to take on New York, New York's gonna take you down. 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 Yeah, New that's York. The town. Home of the Teenage Mutant Home Ninja of the Turtles, Teenage Turtles and Spider-Man. And Spider-Man. New yeah. York. Any sort of animal person, with, we got them. With em. four or more legs. Street sharks probably here. Street sharks. Mm, was it though? Suicide Who Squad. Knows? Maybe. Suicide Suicide Squad's got them. Oh, Ready? never mind. The Avengers, they're here. They're here. Yeah, New, they New York. New York. It's only in New York, York right? So only crazy. in New York. For some reason, every single villain and giant creature only attacks New York City. New York City's so crazy, it gives Iron Man panic attacks. Like, look, think about Cloverfield. If, if that monster had come onto shore 
any other part of the entire continent, it would not have been as crazy. It happened to perfectly show up. Right, right, in, right in, in New York City, New York. a couple square miles, it managed to nail. You want to know how crazy New York City is? They call it the Big Apple. You ever seen an apple in New York? You no, ever seen an apple tree in New York? Allergic. They are uh, they are illegal in New York That's City. How Everybody allergic. knows that apples are illegal in New York City. It's true. Yeah. They got tunnels. They got bridges, but they don't, don't got, got big apples. apples. That's right. And if you have an Adam's apple, get at it. Get at it. Yeah. Only smooth necks yeah. in New York City. Smooth One neck dollar city. pizza. One That's dollar right. pizza that is actually Robert very Robert De Niro. Eggplants are sentient in halal New York guys. City. The original halal guys. The original halal guys. Not even based off of a <laughs> real cuisine. They got a big ass Macy's. The large Macy's on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> the one and only Fifth Avenue breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> Nothing like New York is what I say. You just, you get a big... <laughs> New York will make you feel brand new. This world will inspire you. The wet dream tomato. New York City, the windy city, home of the potatoes. That's right. New York City. City of trees. That's right, city of trees. City, city of, of angels. City of, city of stars. Hey... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this bit, best bit we've ever done. Best bit. We are a comedy podcast. New York. New it's York. Uh, north of Jersey. I love New York. George Washington Bridge. Do you have any New Year's resolutions, Shane? <laughs> yeah, after that one. <laughs> um, God. I mean, kind of a lot of the stuff Ian said, honestly. I would say, also, I need, I, I want to get better about keeping in touch with people. LaGuardia Airport. Sorry, we're done with that bit? Sorry. <laughs> no, we can keep it going. No, uh, no, no, no. Making plans with people more. Mm -hmm. And I think just every day trying to find like, trying to find the positive. Cause there are days that are so stressful that it's just like, oh, everything is not great. And then I watch the news and everything's not great. And I'm just like, okay, I gotta, I gotta find something that's, that I gotta be, that I can be yeah. positive about. Um, just finding, being gra more grateful. Yeah. I feel like this year I focused a lot on me and my me time and like my own time, like like at home self-care and stuff like that. I feel like now it's now this is the year where it's like I'm focusing on me and getting myself out there because I did all my healing and care within. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to do get out of here. In Get out of here. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> I'm walking here. Self care. <laughs> New York oh. City, home of the Subaru Outback. New York City, where Bloomin' Onions. First, first landed. First landed from the moon. It's home of the, the sexiest copper woman statue of liberty. That's right. Isn't that technically in New Jersey, though? Nope. She's riding the Big Apple on top of the on entire top of the state Big building. Apple. She's Dang. green, just like money. When money comes from New York City, City. all money uh, starts here. Yeah. yeah. On Money Street. And they got next to Wall Street. Times Square. Times Square. <laughs> Home of the pr the place where all the prostitutes used to be and all the strip clubs. And drug dealers. Times Square are not a great place to be in the 80s. Times Square, home to Ryan Seacrest once a year. And Ninja doing the, the, the floss. <laughs> and Mariah Carey. <laughs> and Love Actually is not in New York. That's in the UK. Finnerty at this point is just like, wow. I'm just curious how long you guys can do it for. Like, what do you have in you? Oh, I got, yeah. I got plenty more. I'm holding Cause, back. Because I'm, I'm curious, because like right now we're probably at six minutes. Last podcast of the year, like, f*** it, we can end it this way? Or this you guys is, 20 minutes in New York? This, hey, look, this podcast is a gift to you. New York City. Merry if, Christmas. New York City. If you sneeze and slap yourself in the face, you'll sh*** a nickel. New York City. Welcome. Merry Christmas from New York. Captain Phillips. New York City, the famous place where John Wilkes Booth defeated the, the Confederacy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New York.
Warlock, the birthplace of the Three Musketeers bar. Yorkshire, <laughs> get the f*** out of here. It's time for New Yorkshire <laughs> City. Oh, man. All right. I'm yeah. actually crying. Can we stop? Yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't know if this is even Ian's, funny. Ian, for the for those listening on the pod, um, Ian's <laughs> just staring off. His soul has left his body. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> New Amsterdam. <laughs> what it was called God. first, because it was first founded by the Dutch. True. It was it, is, that, is that a real fact? No, it was true. Was, what was New Hampshire's original I name? I can't believe Or something that. like that. Yeah. There was an old name. New York was New Amsterdam. That's right. The Dutch used to own it. Oh, yeah. I used to think it sounded like Hamsterdam. (laughs) 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 New York, home of the hamsters. Oh, you think it's called... uh, I'm sorry. We're back. I'm sorry. Do you guys have a last topic (laughs) you want to do? Yeah, I want to say it's not not, uh, Houston, it's Houston, right? Guys, what was... It's not Greenwich, yeah, it it's Greenwich. Like, what was like the highlight from Sorry. 2019? Yeah, let's get let's into it. Let's go oh, nice. Man. Let's get away from New York. Let's yeah. talk about. What if the highlight took place in New York? <sighs> hey, guess what? My Sorry. favorite thing. What was your favorite? What was, what was your favorite pizza place of 2019? Wow. Wow, way to oh, keep it on brand. Boy. That's right. We had a couple things this year that I'm very happy about, very excited about, very accomplished. I came out as not straight in February, March. That's pretty crazy. This year is jam-packed with events. From yeah. from being kind of gay to being kind of in a Shane Dawson documentary. <laughs> That's my life. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we took... <laughs> You were in it. That's a pretty I, I cool was. highlight. I, I was smelling Shane Shane Dawson's palette. Yeah. In in his doc. That's a crazy highlight. That's like a. That's, that's, that's cool. up there. That's cool. Did not expect that. What about you? I mean, uh, I mean, we we got Smosh back this year, so that's yeah, pretty, <laughs> that's pretty. I mean, I yeah. mean, yeah. <laughs> what was the 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 date that like? What's the anniversary? I think it's February second. Really? I think that's when we. Wow. Because my first day was February fourth. Yeah, I think that I think we closed on February second, and mine was a was mine like a week or so later, or were, did we start the same day? I think we all had February fourth on paper. Yeah, I remember when we first started because it was an empty office, like because it was just like, oh yeah, we're starting this thing back up, and we got back, and then slowly we started to get everybody back. It was really cool, mm-hmm. and it's weird to now see it. I have a lot of videos up. from those early days. I was just like filming you guys. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Look at those. Yeah, it's been a hard year. It's. I think it's honestly been like the hardest year for me in terms of like. But you took on a lot more responsibilities yeah. this year than ever. Yeah, I mean, like I think that it turned out as as best as it possibly could. I mean, I think I think you know getting so many people back and getting it to where it's at now is incredible. I mean, it's it's awesome, but it took a lot out of me. This has been a real real son of a bitch of a year. But uh, I'm glad it happened. Yeah. I think n- the first year at any business, any new business, is not easy. I mean, it's like the first year, but it's also our 14th year. <laughs> it's but, like, you know, it's your first yeah. year being the number one, being the president of this yeah. company. And it's like it's not like we're at the hands of a company that just had invisible money, you know? Like, this is it's yeah. it's been us. It's been when you put so much of yourself into what you do and, and into your work, there's no doubt you're going to feel fatigue and, like, it took a lot out of you. Like, hell yeah. If you didn't feel that way, I don't, I think something was wrong with you. Yeah. I think it's I think it's fatigue, but it's also just, like... Yeah. It's, it's I don't know. It's just, it took a lot. And I'm still, still trying to find my sort of, like, happiness and stuff. But it's, like... This is the first year where, because I mean, everything like obviously like we put, I feel like maybe I've already talked about this on the podcast, but I feel like, you know, everything, everything before this just kind of like worked out. Like Mm -hmm. I'm a pretty go with the flow kind of guy, but everything did just kind of like fall into place as we went along with it. And this was the first time that like I had to like really, I realized that like, oh, like (laughs) this could not go, this could possibly not go the way that I could have ever imagined. Mm-hmm. And 
you know, it made me really question a lot of things and question my place in life and everything. So it was, it was, a, it was a really rough year for me. Um, but I think it's moving in the right direction for sure. That's good. For sure. Just like both both personally and professionally. I feel I feel a similar version of that where it's like I like burnout was like the key word for me this year of like we go 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 cuz like the internet it never stops. Everything is always happening and I it makes me terrified cuz we like we want to keep up to date with with comedy and what's what's cool and and we work Every day, there's no breaks, there's no season breaks or hiatuses like TV shows. And so, like, sometimes you just forget to think about yourself mm -hmm. or, or or put the time in that, that you may require. Um, so then all of a sudden, you're in, like, a really bad place emotionally. Like, that's how I was, where it's like, and you don't know why, because you've been working so hard and, and everything around you is going good. Yeah. But all of a sudden, you're like, what's wrong with me? And it's like, oh, because... Everything's been happening so fast. I haven't like stopped and like taken a deep breath and been present and just enjoying what's around us because it's hard. You want to because we want to. I mean, I myself am always trying to be better and trying to like somehow be the my best version of myself. And so it so I'm always focusing on the negative of what can improve in me or what I can fix around me. And yeah, it's exhausting. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I feel like also I'm just it's just because I'm just juggling different roles like you know i'm yeah like technically yeah i'm the boss but then also i have to be your guys coworker. but i'm also your friend mm -hmm. so it's like it's a lot of it's a lot of different different roles to to balance and i don't don't ever want to feel like i'm betraying anyone but you know i have i have a job that that i now have to do you yeah know? so it's like it's it's put a it's put a lot of pressure on on sort of the decisions that I have to make or will have to make and it's yeah it's been it's been really strange but yeah because uh, you're no longer just like a creative you're you're like you're a lot more involved in like the business side like even more so than ever. yeah yeah and it's like I, I don't I never I never really saw myself as being in this position but I also in this situation don't see anyone being a better fit for it mm -hmm. so it's like that's that's my justification for like well I, I need to I this need is, to be here. So like this is your calling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know, calling. Like, well, <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's like this. This is the situation we've been put in, and and I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try to make the most of it, and try to be a you know positive influence, and try to, you know, do the best that I can, and that's honestly all I can really you know hope for. Yeah, you gotta make sure you're excited about what you're doing. Because I mean, technically, you're Ian. You're kind of like the Jeffrey Star of Smosh. <laughs> you're a boss ass bitch. You run a company. You put out tons of content and product all the time. You you're f leading this. No, no. Let me finish, honey. I'm gassing you up. Okay. Queen. Okay. You have an office. That you sit in, and a bunch of people that respect you, and you are learning. We're all learning. Still, one year is not enough time. And look at this. I know, my favorite coffee is you pretty gotta, sweet. You gotta go. Look at that. Look what's on you. Look what's gonna happen look in February. Me. I'm your I'm your son. <laughs> you made me. I think that's what I need to do is stopping and looking around at like what we did. Yeah, I think I think that's important. I think yeah. it's I think it's important, you know, for, for anybody to to kind of take a second and like, like like we're doing now and, and sort of like recognize like the the good things that are around us and the things that we're that we're proud of like and try to find a purpose for yourself like not not like your purpose as like a human being but like what's what's your purpose in, in what you're doing mm -hmm. right now and who who are you doing it for and why are you doing it yeah and I think that's really important. And that's what I've been trying to go after. I mean, like I said, like this job is is very go go go. So you got to put the effort in to stop and like mm -hmm. look around. Yeah. So I guess I guess I guess you're right. I am like the Jeffrey Star, except I haven't said the N word on a video. No, no. <laughs> Close. Other <I'll> stuff, <laughs> but uh, not that. Good job. Hey, kudos. Congratulations, uh, Ian. You <laughs> didn't say the N word. <laughs> you know, if I had to think of what Ian's greatest achievement is, it's probably 
Never saying the N word. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably that he's never said that. <laughs> we'll make you a plaque. Has, okay, has never said the N word. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to throw a surprise like ceremony. Gonna, somebody's going to like deep fake me now saying, saying oh my the N word somewhere. Just... Oh boy, then you would. Yeah, deep fakes are not fun. So, okay, so I said what? You said what do you want to, what you want to. You, well, we were looking back on the highlights of mm. this year. Oh, looking back at the highlights. And and then you said this mm. was kind of a lot of there was yeah. a lot of low lights. Honestly, but... like I think I think the highlight for me, the Shane graduation thing was was just so cool. When is that out? When was that? Out? I think it's out already. It's, it's, out. Yeah. it's out now. Okay. Um. Well, dang, that Sorry. was the thing I was going to say. Was I know. My highlight. I know. Sorry. Let, well, you talk about it. Yeah, you. Uh, well, obviously it was a very different perspective for me because it was a complete surprise. Uh, I sincerely did not see it coming at all. And I've, the other times I've been pranked on the channel, I, <laughs> I had an inkling, like I had a small inkling that I'm like, oh, something feels off. Whereas that day was a completely normal day. I, I was not expecting anything. I didn't think we were shooting a video. I didn't think anything was going on. So I walked into what I thought was going to be a meeting mm -hmm. and then had that all thrown at me. And it was so cool. And I was so immediately just so uh, happy by it. Like it just cheered me up so much. And uh, the whole thing was so cool. And it really did give me a moment to like because it wasn't a shoot that I was like planning for or I wasn't in my head about it. It was just happening and I was able to suddenly look and be like, holy crap, look at this place that we're at and the stuff that we do and these people I work with. And it was really great. And um, yeah, it was cool to have that moment. And, you know, I want to, yeah, finding those moments more will be, be great. And, you know, I think I wished I, wished I could have had that night last, so much longer because you know we mm -hmm. we kind of had to I had to go home and then get ready because then we, we filmed shoot week the, the next, next day, day and, yeah. then, and that's the, that's the way things kind of can go sometimes is we move so fast mm -hmm. we I'm hung like, out for a little bit had yeah a couple drinks and then, yeah it was yeah. no it was it was incredible it's it's just it our lives are so crazy sometimes that I don't get to I for I just we move on yeah. so quickly from we don't those we things. don't recognize like, oh. we're in a yeah. good old day. Yeah, so I think that's a good way of putting it. Like to to you know, because like yeah, it's e it's really easy to look back on things, mm -hmm. but to recognize those things like while you're still do while you're still in the middle of it. Yeah, and I felt that way with with the graduation because it's like it was really exciting to do it, but then to see it actually in action, I was like, wow, this is actually this is actually really cool. <laughs> but I just I really enjoyed it. I feel like you know you totally deserved something like that. And it was it was cool to like you know to show props and appreciation to the people that we really enjoy being around. Yeah, yeah. it felt like a family moment. Like it really felt like, and and our try not to laugh with the crew also had a similar feeling to me, <laughs> where I was just like, this just feels like we're doing this we're doing this for the fans, but we're also doing this for us. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, it was it was really cool to see everything come to life. Everyone just did really really good job on that, and like. Like even the diploma, I think we we will like we probably posted pictures of it. It's and everything. so good, it's every so element silly. of it, and it was such a cool collaborative effort. That yeah. that as it was happening, I could tell who planned what parts, <laughs> and that was fun. But uh, but yeah, love you guys, love you. I love you guys. I love you know. I love Christmas, and you know what else I love? Oh God, I love <laughs> New York. <laughs> Thank you for watching this podcast. Merry holidays. We love you. Hope you had a blessed day. Don't forget you can enjoy this blessed day with My Favorite Coffee mm. uh, at MyFavoriteCoffee.com. We got the boys in our sexy merch, my hoo-hoo hats, and all these other things at Smosh.store. We got tickets to Smosh.tour. That was a rhyme. Uh, you know, our, our, our highlights come out on Wednesdays as well as the full audio episode. The full video episode comes out on Fridays. Subscribe, hit the bell, have those notifications on. Be a good boy. Don't be thotty. Be nice. <laughs> Love you. Damn. Or be thotty if you want.